U.S. So it's yeah, for sure, definitely. He's certainly potent, beyond potent at this matchup because you kind of have to be. As he immediately calls out the the drop forward from ledge with a PK fire. And stuff like that can really set the tone of a of a match, if not a set, or of a game, if not a set. And you start to get a little worried, and like mentally. Uh, I like which... that Chris right now, right off the bat, he is respecting Hydra's space so so much. You see, like a lot of retreating aerials, not wanting to get up really really close. Like like you see, every single one of those aerials is a fade back. But then he's gonna mix up his drift just enough so that he could uh, try to get a whip punish on one of his fade backs. Yeah, and to contrast, Utopian Ray's more mid and close range gameplay trying to suffocate Lucas, as per different matchups, uh, Hydra's playing all this a lot more back. Uh, he's deciding, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to start walling you out with Bear, I'm going to use more long range explosive flames, I'm going to make you feel uncomfortable in your spot, and force you to start hitting buttons that get you into this my range. This is a super tough situation for Chris, he tries to go for the county, but anything that interacts with Ness's uh, PK Thunder as he is going up will cut its distance in about half. So even if uh, Hydra didn't connect the counter there, that would have still gotten the kill. Didn't know it was that much. Really? Half? Yep. Damn. Well, about half. So it's, it's a little bit strange, but, you know, for the sake of simplicity. Um, right. Back to a little bit stale. Not going to be able to take the stop quite yet. He tried to interrupt that. that was really... You see that up tilt come out as he tried, as the warp. Uh, cross stage. He was really, Good Lord. really trying. Right, we see Hydra starting to play this hop back game, empty hopping just right out of Ness's effective range, and is rewarded center stage for it. But he risk catching that jump up shield. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, for all intents and purposes, you know this is basically an even game. But as soon as he knocked off stage against Palutena. Um, oh my god, Chris gonna get that aggressive option, just gonna get called out. 78% she's just being kept in the corner for so long, but right now he's finally getting an opportunity to do a little bit of damage of his own. Oh my god. Man. A lot of buttons coming out from PK Chris. He's trying to anticipate the next option that, that Hydra is going to end up doing. Hydra's doing a really great job of not letting not letting the almost frantic inputs, smart inputs, but frantic inputs get him overwhelmed. And making sure to avoid that PK flash. Yeah, the flash for all intents and purposes is kind of amazed if like Chris sees, you know, Hydra trying to uh, punish Chris for the for it. Chris can release it preemptively, and that move has deceptively very little end life. Almost not. Ah. Uh, that was super, super good from Hydra, just calling out the fastball, knowing that Chris was going to try to release Magnet Ray because he's a little bit antsy to get back onto stage. Very nice. Yeah. That's rough because now that lingering hitbox in Palutena, when coming from low, is pretty easy to catch that two frame. And with the up smash there, it covers basically every teleport angle. Great stuff from PK Chris. Two? Going for a third, but neutral air dodge is what gets PK Chris out of that jumbo situation. As he's looking for the low percent, Ness's low percent combos gets a grab, but the directional air dodge away is gonna leave that damage to a minimal. Yep. Uh oh. The PK fire helps him like drift back a little bit and stall. You can still recover from it quite easily. Um, uh, Chris has been kept in this point for so long. Not very smart not to use his double jump there, but. That's going through double jump magnets to get back onto stage. Chris keeps trying to come back aggressively. Finally able to get back onto stage. That's a really needy PK fire. Not able to find a conversion off of it though. I just handling this option look oh, so well as finally he gets that two frame that he'd been looking for. Uh, he hadn't gone off stage to challenge these numerous amount of PK uh, PK Thunder 2s which made Chris plenty comfortable and going for them frequently, but eventually he's able to get that two frame and get that kill off of it. Uh, if you look for something enough, something safe enough, then eventually it'll come through, I suppose. Yeah. I'm thinking Chris might need to be a little bit more patient. Or just not more patient. I'm seeing like the way that like he's um, at ledge against Palutena. And he needs to have like the awareness of like, 
okay, is is Hydra looking for the down tilt here? Should I not hang on to ledge? Because I feel like Chris was coming back on aggressively so much, he ate like a lot of unnecessary percent. Right. Like with the double jump magnet and then rolling in. Um, and then even though Chris like eventually kind of got back onto stage, uh, he just like wasn't able to get that neutral in time. Yeah. We're going to like a different stage select. Uh, I'm expecting something like a smash roll here. I see uh, Chris counterpick the smash roll a lot. Uh, I might see a Kalos. I can respect a Kalos. Though it is a very large center area and I'm not sure how much space you want to give Palutena to move. Yeah, I didn't expect a character swap. But we'll just have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pinsy's going to be going to smash roll. Absolutely correct. He's gonna keep it nice and tight so that like Chris is able to keep up his advantage for longer. Burning his double jump, Haju trying to get the two frame with down tilt. Chris really, really smart not to air dodge at that moment, which would have left him very vulnerable. 52 right off the bat coming out from uh, coming out from Hydra, using that center platform to extend into the explosive flame. Very frequent use of this explosive flame. And He's able, to, he's able to get back on stage is PK Chris, but neutral is fully reset, not able to get any sort of a, aggression off of it with the largely horizontal combo game that both of these characters have. Well, it's my team's very explosive flame because it is a multi-hit explosion, only going to heal about 3% off of it. Uh, it won't heal all of the hits, but just a really nice way of not having to burn the air dodge. Oh, uh, uh, that interaction was a little uncomfortable. I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. Oh, Chris oh, he looked able to land it. Unfortunately, dropping the shield a little bit too early. It's possible that was a shield plug as well. Yeah, it looks like Hydra was trying to scout out the spot dodge, uh, hence the F tilt. But nice call out on wow, the teleport. Wow. Right now, has no jump. Tries to go for the yo yo, not able to find it. Initiated a little bit too late. I like that Chris tried to back off. He didn't want to get greedy and try to absorb it with Magnet, knowing that Magnet is deceptively slow to uh, absorb projectiles. And a great teleport right past these like situation, making sure to save the jump so he got high enough. Oh, excuse me. Nice stall, but still gonna be able to get hit. Another Chris one. still. Oh my god. This is so difficult. Yes, very, very nice. And just like that, Chris is able to take the stop lead for himself. Uh, Patching Hydra's over extension. Yeah, Chris is doing a great job with these angles, waiting out a lot of these down tilts now. Uh, that making... was. Chef's kiss. <laughs> 158 now, you really, like, Palutena can sometimes have this problem after, within 7.0, where you start to see kills coming a lot less frequently, hence why you see players like Jen starting to adapt, uh, more, uh, different, or different kill confirms, I'll say, with stuff like drag down Nair into up tilt and things like that, because you don't want to be killing with dash attack or, like, throwing out raw back airs, despite them being phenomenal moves. That was a really good catch uh, to um, Hydra jump out of shield. There's, right now I'm noticing like a lot of approaching falling aerials from Hydra and Chris is starting to pick up on that. Uh, able to get the whiff punish on them, but once again, offstage against Palutena, not where you want to be at all. Nicely spaced uh, directional air dodge, still going to get two frames, but not at a high enough percent uh, for that to convert into anything. Chris just called Hydra's bluff hard, rolling oh. at a roll distance Palutena, but knowing that he was waiting for the neutral get up. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta you gotta call some bluffs like you know poker. Oh um, no! Oh my God! Almost able to actually take the stock from that, but that's gonna be the counter. But because Chris was already so close to the ledge, uh, it doesn't matter that his distance was cut. Um, he was like still be able to come through thanks to uh, Ness's really good magnet hands. Yeah, right now Chris is playing a lot faster when it comes to these uh, comes to these options options so, like he's catching the whiff. He's not catching the whiff, he's catching what comes after the whiff, which is most frequently some sort of shield or spot dodge. And he's covering both with things like down tilt grab and uh, like a lingering nair or a lingering forward air. So great stuff from Chris. Ooh, hey, 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 lost the flame, landing against Palatine and no easy feat. Chris almost able to get back onto stage, avoiding that second explosive flame really well. I love the stall with PK Thunder. 
so that he would completely avoid the uh, chance to... Oh my god. What an absolute chat. It's like, I know you're gonna drop down an explosive flame, so I'll just absorb that and be in a perfect position for you to uh, die. Okay. Chris played the last stock and a half so textbook, so immaculately. That was genuinely fantastic. I love the way he was mixing up his recoveries. I think Hydra was getting a little bit too aggressive, and Hydra just needs to... I mean, on a stage like Smashville, it's hard to kind of camp out and have you distance against Ness. But Chris just kept on the aggression, and Chris's ledge trapping was gen was like so good. Definitely, just like got in Hydra's head a little bit. Yeah, Hydra was definitely feeling the pressure towards the end of game two, uh, starting to throw out a lot more raw options, uh, looking frantically for these down towards that ledge. While good, Chris has shown his adaptation to it. So the mix up of going off stage, you might want to do a little bit more frequently. And maybe you like go a little bit more aggressively instead of running off with these counters, try and go for something like fair and push him horizontally further. Perhaps some adjustments can be made on Hydra's side as he starts this game strong, as Palutena's tend to do. A quick 50. Oh my god. And climbing. No. What? No. What? Excuse what was the second me? communication error of the night? Oh, but it's on. What was that? What it's was that? our end. It's on our end. All right, guys, I guess imagine what's happening on the screen. Oh, no. Oh, man. Well, they are on battle. So. All right, guys, time to open your twitch.tv slash house3000 and inspect the three minutes, three seconds in the past. Yep, stream is still alive. What the fuck happens? How did we get this connected? Who's, who's to, okay, so help me. Okay, so Devin is still connected and able to spectate, but somehow there's a communication on Ray end. Yeah. Um, I'm hosting. That's pretty epic. I'm not okay. gonna lie. I mean, it's good that. If you guys want to go get some water, now's a good time, I guess. Nah, just, just, you know, commentate at a delay. Commentate yeah. at a delay. We can just talk about how good these plays are instead of how good they're playing. We don't have to do a play that I play. We could just look at you know the set as a whole a little bit. I'm noticing that Hydra took a really, really early lead, keeping Chris stuck at ledge for so long. Oh, I didn't even look at the stock count. That's like, yeah, like he's playing this stage phenomenally, which makes sense with the counter pick because now he can use these platforms to hide under to avoid a lot of these aerial mix-ups coming oh from the nest. Gosh. And he's catching all of this retreating, all these retreating air dodges and defensive options as he gets hit with the tri-state, but he didn't throw. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't hit the back button. Chris is just struggling to even get back onto stage. Hydra has such a good lead of like what time Chris is gonna go from air dodges. I'm really threatening his face there. Yeah, Chris is, all of the mix-ups coming from Chris off stage is now, like, while Hydra isn't doing anything, like, aggro in order to counteract it, he has adjusted his timing a lot more, which is allowing him to catch a lot of these two frames up, as he was in game one, and still, and with the lead at his back, now he's yep. able to, be able to force Ness to approach a lot more, and Pelican has a great, great uh, evasive game. Uh, and stuffing people out with that back air and stuffing people and uh, forcing people to chase her down with her phenomenal speed. Mm -hmm. as that Chris back is like slowly starting to bring this back. I noticed that Chris, especially in his game threes with Hydra, which has happened multiple times already, is like able to almost bring it back, but every single time just barely able to clutch it out. So I'll be curious to see if he's able to do it this time. These auto rep goals are interrupting PK Chris so much, like making him, forcing him to put himself in shield, interrupting the PK fire. Like it's just halting aggression, not necessarily putting on so much damage. And as so long as you can stop Ness from moving, that's like stopping any character from moving around is just so good. What I've noticed is I think uh, I think I just trying to condition Chris to maybe uh, absorb the auto reticle with the magnet um, because there's like a significant amount of lag. Chris still able to kind of, kind of move back. Slowly yeah. getting back onto stage. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that doesn't work anymore. Stop trying to do that. 
oh, what a great air dodge in order to get past the forward movement from uh, from the Hydra. But a couple of these explosive flames are a little bit either hard to react to or. Um... Oh, shit. Oh, oh, no. no. That's oh, no. Lame. He just curved with the stage. That's unfortunate. It's a bro movement, I would agree. Oh, wow. The first stock was a uh, zero to death. Neato. Good morning. All right, well, that'll be game three going to Hydra as he finds himself in winner's finals, or not winner's finals, winner's semis, uh, set to play Utopian Ray in a potential ditto. And that's interesting. I've also seen Ray go uh, Banjo in the map 